Today, I'm gonna go over exactly how I lubed my HyperX Alloy Origins Core TKL keyboard. Before we get started, I just wanna say, please do this at your own risk. I am not responsible if you damage your keyboard. And this method worked for me. Is it the best? I don't know. Uh, I am just a beginner to the whole keyboard realm and modifying keyboards. Let's get into it. First and foremost, you're going to need a couple of things. The first thing being a microfiber cloth of some sort just in case this stuff kind of gets a little messy. You're gonna need paintbrushes. I picked mine up from my local dollar store. I believe I paid a dollar or two Canadian for five of these. You're also gonna need either tweezers or a plastic tool of some sort to help push down the keycap stem in order to get your paintbrush inside the switch. In order to lube the stabilizers, I use something called dielectric grease. You can pick this up from your local hardware store or even your local Walmart. You're also going to need some sort of lube for the actual key switches. I'm using super lube, but ideally you'd want to pick up some specific lube for your key switches like Crytox or something similar. Also, based on my research, you shouldn't use super lube or the stuff I'm using on my linear switches on tactile switches because you'll actually uh, hurt the tactility of those switches and trust me, that's probably not what you guys want to do if you paid for tactile switches. Very quickly, I'm going to go over how I lube these stabilizers first. So this includes the spacebar, the two shift keys, the enter key, as well as the backspace. For the stabilizers, here's a diagram of what a stabilizer is actually made of and the mechanism that it actually moves. You're going to want to add dielectric grease to the stem that actually goes up and down as you push the the key up and down and you're also going to want to get some dielectric grease on the wire and by the wire i mean this little silver bar that connects the two stabilizers together for the purpose of demonstration i've only taken off my space bar because you can if you just want to loop the stabilizers and not the key switches then you can go ahead and do that without having to remove each and every keycap on your keyboard so the first thing you're going to do is take your little plastic tool and there is a little notch on the bottom of the stabilizer that will allow you to lift up the stabilizer it won't be able to come out because the actual switch is in the way but you'll be able to lift it up outside of the keyboard frame that'll be easier to get some dielectric grease all up in there and what this allow you to do is lift up one side and you'll notice the black stem will actually lift up as well and I also lubed the underside. Don't overdo it too much because I did notice that the key got really hard to press and I actually had to wipe some of it off using my microfiber cloth. And then you're also gonna wanna take your paintbrush with some dielectric grease, slide it in at an angle so you can hit that metal wire that's coming out of the stabilizer. That will ensure that all the rattle happening from that hitting the PCB will be reduced or minimized. I did notice that this keyboard stabilizers are in the frame pretty tight and they don't move around all too much, which is good because that means that that won't be a source of rattle. Getting into how I lube the switches. So ideally for this, you're gonna wanna take all the keycaps off and the method that I used actually consisted of two methods. The first one is, I guess, spray lubing. And the lube I used, they actually sell in a larger little container. They also sell it in this tube that I'm using, as well as in a spray can. For me, this little tube, I used about a third to a half of it, and I was able to cover all the key switches in my board. And that's with some of the key switches being, I guess, over lubed, you'd say. The method that I used to do this was basically, I took my little plastic tool, I held down the key switch, I made sure that the keyboard was at its max incline. And I put a half drop to a drop of lube at the very top of the switch, and then I'd let gravity do its thing and work its way down. And I'd keep pressing the switch a couple of times just to make sure that the lube was getting all around the switch. This is probably the best time to get right up to your keyboard because I can't really showcase what the switch looks like compared to a set of human eyes. The second mechanism, which is one that I'd actually recommend, is you take out the lube onto a small tray, or ideally if you're using something like Crytox, like a dedicated lubricant for mechanical keyboard switches, and then grab another paintbrush, which is a clean one, not the same one you use dielectric grease with. Again, push down the key switch, 
and then work your way around the key switch with the paintbrush. This is probably the safest mechanism as well as one of the easiest ones, but make sure you don't get any paintbrush hairs inside the switch. Now I'm going to include a sound test of what the keyboard sounded like out of the box, which is from my review, as well as what the keyboard sounds like now, which is roughly three to four months after I've actually lubed it. So I do know that in the short term for four months ish nothing's really deteriorated my keyboard works fine the one thing i will add though is my five key did stop registering at every click but after resetting the firmware on the board like doing a hard reset the keyboard's working fine again so i don't think it was my lube or anything that i did that caused that five key to stop working So that was just a very quick video on exactly how I lube my keyboard and how it worked for me. I hope you can hear through the audio that it does sound a lot better and there's a lot less rattle in the spacebar and the shift keys. Although I will add that the shift key has a little tiny bit of rattle that I just can't get rid of and it's not going to be perfect unless I disassemble the board, desolder all the switches and do a lube job properly. <laughs> if you enjoyed this video then please hit that like button. If you want to see more content from me hit that subscribe button. I also make videos on TikTok, so if you want to check those out, I post those way more frequently and you'll probably get, you know, some good content out of that. Thanks for watching. Peace out.